And, and I understand uh, a number of those points there, and I think there, there's some legitimacy, legitimacy to some of that. But the problem that I see is uh, you have a lot of the same symptoms on the other side as far as uh, demonizing gun owners and demonizing um, uh, people who are to the opposite of the, the gun control movement. And, and, and at the same time, you know, I understand that you support some – uh, some of the policies that Giffords and others are, are pursuing, but it, it can be very difficult for somebody who is a gun owner or is not, you know, not uh, supportive of one of these gun control groups to look at them and uh, uh, not, you know, without a skeptical eye when they say that they're for responsible gun ownership, because, uh, you know, I, I can't think of a single example where they uh, weren't defending pushing the gun restrictions to their furthest point, including things like banning um, handguns, including things like uh, confiscating firearms. I mean, certainly Giffords has not come out in favor of what Beto O'Rourke has uh, said he wants to do, but they haven't come out in opposition to it either. So I think you have a lot of the same issues that you're concerned with. I mean, I've heard even people like Shannon Watts, who I, who I like as a person a lot, says constantly we are not in favor of gun confiscation. We are not mm-hmm. trying to ban your guns. I don't know what else you want them to say other than, I mean, they've said it like hundreds, thousands of times. And as far as not a single example of everybody, of anybody working for a gun, um, gun safety organization who doesn't want to take, well, here's one. <laughs> like, I don't even know how many guns I have. I literally, I don't sure. even, I mean, my boys have guns. I, I, I don't. I'm not in favor of any of this. So, it, it, I mean, if you just want a single right. example, I mean, we're talking. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, look, I, I don't think that everyone who supports uh, Giffords or Everytown or whatever is in favor of gun confiscation or or I, my point is that they're these groups are uh, always in favor of restricting gun, gun ownership. And, and I have never seen them work the other direction. Does that make any um, sense? I, think like, I understand where you're coming from. So I think you're, I think there's some hyperbolic um, assertions in your statement that I obviously don't agree with. However, um, I don't think that criticism in the gun realm is a space that's only occupied by the right or Republican party. Um, I think there's mm-hmm. plenty, there's plenty of things that are misunderstood, misstated, in my opinion, wrong um, policy approaches or policy ideas or or, or or things of that sort on the left. I, and and um, I, I don't spend hundreds of pages in that criticism. I can tell you in my personal life, I spend a lot of time trying to educate people um, on the left about responsible gun owners, how they should be an ally, how they should not be castigated. And that's why the first part of my book, Steve, is about is a lot trying to explain to people who might not otherwise, who might not have backgrounds like you and I, right? They might be the coastal elites or whatever you want to call them. But I think a lot of, I encounter a lot of folks who literally just don't understand how it is that guns can play a positive role in somebody's life. They just, they don't, they don't conceptualize of it. Um, sure. They, they, they literally don't know anybody like that. And so I, I, the first part of the book is try to explain at least in some ways, the way that many gun owners and many Americans view guns as a positive component in a, in a cultural symbol um, that is important. And I, and I do think that um, people on the left need to understand that a lot more. Um, then, then you start getting into this chicken or egg thing. And when it, it's tough for them to make the first step when you see screaming, you know, armed men at the Michigan Capitol and they can't find a gun owner to criticize them. Right. They're like, really? You tell us that. So that's you see, it it becomes this chicken or egg thing. But um, I think you and I share a lot of worries about the degree to which people on the left errantly view or errantly sort of categorize all gun owners. 